This is Councillor Simon Noyle's Facebook account and this is Councillor Simon Noyle. He has more than one Facebook account but this is the one he uses to conduct his business as a councillor. He is a Neath but Talbot County Borough County Councillor and also a Glenneath Town Councillor. On the 27th of March 2021 Councillor Noyle posted information about the Hale of Glynn development that had not previously been made public. He posted information about a document containing the results of chemical testing from soil at the Hale of Glynn site. He states that he had used this document in his role as a county councillor and undertaken due diligence in relation to the testing results contained in the document. He states in his post, I was provided with a copy of the WAC Waste Acceptance Criteria tests, which were carried out on 7th of October 2020. I received this confidentially, hence the reason I have redacted the image below. You will see that there are many contaminants identified in the samples. This is just a snippet of sample 4 taken on 20th of October 2020. However, what the public can see from the document is that the results of the chemical tests have been blacked out completely. This is a close-up of the blacked out area and this is it closer again. Faint but illegible numbers can just about be made out. Simon Noyle has been elected to office by the people of Glynneath and he represents the people surrounding the Hale Glynn site in two roles. As a Glynneath Town Councillor and a Neath but Talbot Council County Councillor. If we refer to the UK Government gui Guidelines for Elected Officials, these are the seven principles of public life, which are also known as the Nolan Principle. These apply to anyone who works as a public office holder. This includes all those who are elected or appointed to public office. If we scroll down to principle five on these principles, openness, we will see that holders of public office should act and take decisions in an open and transparent manner. Information should not be withheld from the public unless there are clear and lawful reasons for so doing. If we refer again to Simon Noyle's Facebook post on 27th of March 2021, he says that I was provided with a copy of the WAC Waste Acceptance Criteria Test, which were carried out on 7th of October 2020. I received this this confidentially Hence the reason I have redacted the image below. You will see that there are many contaminants identified in the samples. This is just a snippet of our sample 4 taken on 20th of October 2020. If we focus on the word redacted in this statement, and we, if we take a look at the Google definition of the word redacted, we will see that redaction in its sanitization sense, as distinguished from its other editing sense, is the blacking out or deletion of text in a document. Or the result of such an effort, it is intended to allow the selective disclosure of information in a document while keeping other parts of the document secret. We will see that redaction is censorship or secrecy. Considering there are many eyewitness reports of potential toxic waste being dumped at the site, we are concerned that Councillor Noyle is keeping this information secret from the people of Glynneath to support his construction consultancy business, SAK Consulting, as opposed to performing his role as a Neath but Talbot and Glynneath Town Councillor in support of the residents bordering the site. To quote from an email dated 6th of April 2020 from Councillor Noyle, in which he stated, 
The only thing that I would say is we are in a period of time where we do not know what will happen tomorrow. I am still trying to carry on working. I have my own business as a freelance quantity surveyor, as you know, and I cannot furlough myself as I am trying to continue working. It should also be noted that at the planning meeting on 8th of September 2020, the only two people from Glynneath who supported the development were Councillors Noyle and Morgan. There were 40 residential properties bordering the site who placed over 80 representations objecting to the development, yet it was the two local councillors whose job it was to support these residents who were the only ones in favour of the planning application. To refer to a previous post on the same Facebook account on the 23rd of March 2021, Councillor Noyal stated the following. It is also worth noting that the site is no longer owned by Enzo Homes and has been purchased by another developer, who I have also spoken with. The test results indicated that the site had a small number of known contaminants, which can be remediated. This statement would indicate that the land has yet again been tested as contaminated and the redacted segment of the document previously mentioned may contain this information. Quite clearly, Councillor Noyle is keeping this information secret from the people of Glynneath, as he is a document containing information about the 2008 post-contamination process and a potential breach of the 1990 Environmental Protection Act at the site. This information contained in this document he has hidden from the people of Glynneath since April 2020. To conclude, Simon Noyle has made it known publicly that he has used this document in his role as a Neath but Talbot and Glynneath Town Councillor. Therefore, this document is public information. He has also indicated in his statements that the land has recently been tested as contaminated. If this is so, the people bordering the Halo Glen site have a right to know this information. We would like to ask Councillor Noyle the following question. Why are you keeping this information a secret from the people of Glen Heath?